And I just got here and we got a donation in. These are the orange, uh, uh, what are they called? The orange sharks? And how many? Four of them? There's three of them. Three of them? Yeah. That's the last one going That's in. That's the last one coming in, yeah. And these got donated by Jay. And what happened, Jay, that we got them? That's what we got. Yeah, they were getting too big for my tank, so I had to give them up. But how, how well, well, what they tell you at the store? You didn't know they were going to get that yeah, big. The tank wasn't labeled what size they were going to get. I didn't know until after I bought them and looked it up myself. <laughs> so here they are. That's going to help him out. Mm. Really? You good for this? I'm ready. Okay, I'm just going to give you a little warm up. Right. This is the warm up. Are you ready? That's the one you had out in uh Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> They're in the pool. The They're fish you're gonna get. Oh them. no. We gotta get them out of the pool. Before they eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so you seen we just got some fish. And our good buddy Jim, Jim Sheasley, and his brother, right? Yes, Chuck. Chuck. Okay. And he's taking some fish home with him, as always. <laughs> Comes around, goes around. <laughs> oh, come on, move. There's Mr. Moray. Oh, look at him. I like him, he's so cool. I don't think neat, but I really like the feel. He's so cool. So, you see we got the uh, bases in, and those tanks are outside. And we just gotta wait for the weather to break and get everything rearranged. And Brutus just chilling. And of course, Josh is Sturgeon. And Ryan Bearded Fish Keeper is here. Chrissy's here. Janet's here. Big Nate, Little Nate. So there's a few people here. And Jim and his brother Chuck, uh, she's leaves, they were here. And they uh, brought actually a 12 pack with some Bud Platinum. <laughs> they heard me talking about Platinum, so they brought me that. And brought Big Rich a cheesecake. And gave him a tour. And then, of course, uh, Jay, he dropped over the three orange sharks. That was nice of him. Alright. And then, I guess, Big Rich Hoover and Chrissy went through a lot of the lights. And uh, these are all the good lights. We're trying to find a set of three-foot matching lights for my 125. Because I never did get them matching. I'm just using some bulbs right now. They don't match or anything. So, this is all garbage and stuff that doesn't work and it's got to go out to the garbage here. So, get some stuff done. And the guys are here, but I just don't know. It's super, super cold today. And it is supposed to be nice and warm Monday and Tuesday, so maybe we'll do this then. But nobody wants to go out in the cold. So we just tried to go out there and it's cold. Say what's up, guys. <laughs> Yeah, All right. So it looks like we're going to get rid of a couple more. We're going to get rid of uh, the two vitures. Yep, the All albino right. cynical vitre. I'm not sure what type of vitre that is. Uh, I'll have to Google them. Okay, and then you're going to grab one of the albino uh, bristlenose fleckos. Yeah. And then we got the other. And what kind was this one then? That's also a cynical vitre, but that's a regular cynical vitre. A regular single bike there, and he's gonna take that one with him as well. Oh, day of donations and receiving and giving. Man, I gotta come say hi to Chomper. How you doing, buddy? Oh, what's up? I got Littlefoot sitting over there. Right, what's up, big boy? What's up, big guy? Such a big toast. And look at that, look at little, little foot, he's coming out. 
Okay. <laughs> Rich got hit in the face with one of his Nerf guns and he's not happy. <laughs> but again, he's right. We don't shoot it at anybody's face, so. Alright, everybody. See that little guy? Yeah, he's awesome. And he's grown quite a bit. The other one's in Dawn's tank. I'll see if I can show him. But, like I said, my uh, cherry barbs are doing alright. But, I'm getting short on these little, I call them ghost fish. I'm not sure if that's the right name. But, um, I only see like three or four of them now. And uh, I got three uh, neon tetras left, and I know for a fact we were sitting out here last night. Yeah, yeah, he'll see me, and he goes like that. I, I, you know, he was out here last night, and he grabbed one of the white fish. He just went snatch and went into the grass and did his thing. So, guess what? Hold on. <laughs> All right. So. He's been captured. There he is. So let's do this. Let's get him right there for a second. And, yep. Man, that's where he's going. I've been told he should be fine. So, we'll find out. Luke, <laughs> don't kill me if something happens. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. He took off. There he is, there he is. But he'll be fine. He'll be just fine in here. And he can grow because he can get like up to six inches or seven inches uh, from what Luke said. And I think he's getting ready to molt again. But we should do just fine with these guys. They don't even seem interested in them. He's got plenty of places to hide, you know, so we'll do okay. There's a black hole, we haven't seen him in a while. He's down in there. Yeah, don't poop that thing in that corner, you missed that. There he is, up in the bottom. Okay. So, yeah, I had to do that. Because, uh, you know, I took a lot of that out there, but I don't know if I can find any. Let's see. Hold on. There's a little one right there. Not so little. There's another one scooting by. But, and I know I got snail eggs I got to clean off. But, I, that's the other thing. I got shrimp going in here. So, I want this tank to be kind of like Dawn's. You know, um, and obviously I'm going to have to add some more Tetras now, you know, the Neons, and get some more of these guys. But at the same time, like, I'll go show you Dawn's here in a minute. I'm liking this because so far, basically, the only thing that seems to be producing are these cherry bars. And, uh, I like that. I don't want a bunch of fish just producing, producing, and then I got a tank full of I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking maybe if I just get some males and have them grow really pretty and this and that, and I won't have to worry about overcrowding, and I can have a variety of different type of shrimp, and I don't know. You guys let me know what you think on that, but that's one of my ideas. So, but I think you'll do just fine over here. So that'll work out. And Dawn's orchid, and it, well, it's dark, it's night, but yeah, it bloomed. It's so beautiful. And Hillbilly Orchid, heck yeah. He's been uh, trying to name it, but like you said, they breed these things for the big box stores, and <clears throat> hard to say, but uh, he wants to send Dawn one. I was trying not to let her see the comment, but she saw it. <laughs> so, heck yeah, we can't wait for that to happen. All right, so what we're gonna do here is, uh, I'm gonna go out and in a little bit here, I'm getting ready to feed the little dude, and uh, it's his day on bloodworms. I'll, I'll do the um, snails here. That comes up in two days, and I got another mix with uh, krill and shrimp. I do in between, 
and um, so let me get that going and we'll be right back and show you a little dude eating and Don just sprayed and I came over to look at uh, Cole the Anul and look at that he's sitting on Don's plant in there uh, he's grown a little bit but not a whole lot so I get a feeling uh, we're gonna have him for quite some time oh there he went he jumped back on the wall all right we got a nice picture of him okay and as you see Don has so many fries and little guys going around and I kind of want to just prevent that I don't know but I am I've been talking to her you know we got like 10 of those uh coli loaches and I'm gonna grab a couple here in the next week or so and put them in my 55 and I think I'll take a couple of her fancy tails uh you know the males a couple of them three or four and put them in my tank that'll add color as well so look at these guys curled up over here so cool there's three of them right there three or four <laughs> but all right so me and kurt we're gonna go ahead and kurt's gonna feed them and i'm gonna film little dude getting filmed or <laughs> little dude getting fed stay tuned for that all right, and promised, as promised, Kurt and I, well, Kurt, you're going to feed a little dude. <laughs> it's so neat. You can actually give him like two or three at a time. Yeah. He sucks him up like spaghetti. And you can sit here and watch his little belly grow. <laughs> yeah, he goes right for it. You gotta be quick. Mm-hmm. He's super fast. Oh, oh. <laughs> Kurt's like, just the blood ones, <laughs> not my finger. <laughs> So, as you guys see, he's doing really, really good. There's okay. a few. Wow, well, look up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, back up. more looking pretty full oh yeah you can put a little bit more in you can get a really full belly damn did he slurp that up already uh yeah friendly family friendly <laughs> oh now that should be good you know, see how he's slowing on the mm -hmm. serpent so that's good all right, and I'll do this. That's what it's looking like. Yeah, we got this algae growing, but I think it looks kind of cool. And he eats it, and it's part of his diet from what I understand. I've been looking up. Just added that little plastic green thing, because I don't know if I can get anything real yet. But uh, I got to get one more thing I want to get in the corner here. And I got to scrape the back wall. I did the other corners here today, but... He is a happy little dude. He's so happy. But, alright guys, so there's a little dude, good feeding. You guys stay fishy, my friends. Hit that like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And we'll go deeper with the Reaper.